The In It Together with Lori Lynn Green talk show is a positive way to start your day. Ready for some encouragement? Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. Come be inspired. Hear moving stories. Even laugh out loud. <laughs> Can't make heads or tails of what I'm saying. <laughs> Just incomprehensible. <laughs> Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. You'll hear real people doing real things to make a real impact. You are heroes every day. Hear honest, compassionate, engaging issues you care about. You see people come together to do good in our community. And the more we come together, the more good we can do. Listen in and get started on redesigning your life. And hear what's positive in Greater Manchester. Here's your happy host, Lori Lynn Green. Good morning, friends in Greater Manchester. Just a welcome to In It Together. We are so glad that you've tuned in. If you'd like to find us on the web, you can go to inittogether.net, listen live or to previous shows, even link to our Facebook, our Twitter, our LinkedIn, our geez, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. <laughs> so all these new things to remember. And if you like and follow us, you'll see we're bringing out the best in people to influence positive change in this community and beyond. Today is a very special guest. Alex Harvey will be coming on from Illuminate Design, and we'll be talking about cultivate, cultivating deep client relationships in value engineering. And I'm really excited. If you don't know exactly what that means, that's okay, because I have a feeling he's going to let us know. So hopefully he'll be back. Uh, he's going to hopefully try to get on the Facebook Live. Uh, please have patience with us. This is new for us doing face-to-face -face this way. But um, you know what? we got to be willing to try some things, okay? So... I'll be back right after this brief message, uh, and I'll be awaiting Alex to join the conversation. Stay tuned. Mark Major knows that great coaches need constant training to be effective. As a certified coach, teacher, and speaker with the John Maxwell team, Mark can help you identify and activate your personal and professional goals. If you seek to do more and be more, look up Mark on the web at johnmaxwellgroup.com slash marcmajor or call 603-674-6818. Mark Major, growing leaders and adding value. Hi, I'm Jen Lever, anchor of the Recovery Now segments. Join me Tuesdays at 9 a.m. where I offer support to families struggling with addiction, hear personal stories, learn the signs of addiction, and get help for your loved ones. Only on In It Together with Lori Lynn Green. Hi, I'm Lori Lynn Green, Advancement Strategist and owner of AlphaAdvancementStrategies.com. I've been very successful at helping people overcome stressful situations to get immediate results in their personal and professional lives. At Alpha Advancement Strategies, we provide a non-judgmental and supportive environment, empowering clients to focus more on reaching their goals. You can find us on the web at AlphaAdvancementStrategies.com or call us at 603-860-9260. Alpha Advancement Strategies is where you invest in yourself. Morgan Self Storage has been serving Manchester and Salem, New Hampshire for over 15 years. Facilities are heated with security and video surveillance in well-lit hallways, easy access loading, and high-capacity elevators. With many sized units, portable trailers, and boxes for moving, we can meet your residential or business storage needs. 400 Bedford Street in Manchester or 8 Willow Street in Salem. Visit morganstorage.com or call us at 603-623-2000. Morgan Self Storage, making self-storage secure, safe, and easy. Hi, I'm Bob Bola, Chief Instructor of Defensive Strategies and Anchor of the Personal Safety Segment, where we talk about personal protection, situational awareness, and home defense. Tune in every Thursday at 9 a.m. and refuse to be a victim. Only on In It Together with Lori Lynn Green. Hi, I'm Mark Major, Certified Coach and Speaker. Join me Wednesdays at 9 a.m. for It's a Wonderful Life, all about leadership development and living a positive lifestyle. Only on In It Together with Lori Lynn Green. Little Leapers and Knowledge Keepers Child Care and Preschool offers learning experiences that give kids a healthy sense of self and meaningful connections to the world around them. We teach children from a positive perspective so they learn healthy conflict resolution and develop character. Owner Jennifer Lever has over 28 years experience in child development. She's helped children learn to read as young as 18 months. Join our happy place where we make happy happen. 
located in Pennardville, bordering Bedford and Manchester. Call today at 603-491-1780. Hi, this is Lori Lynn Green, Advancement Strategist and Coach Trainer at AlphaAdvancementStrategies.com. Join me Mondays at 9 a.m. where I'll talk about ways to help keep you moving forward in life. Only on In It Together with Lori Lynn Green. Hi, this is Lori Lynn Green. Welcome back to In It Together, kicking off. We've having a little bit of difficulties this morning with some technical stuff, trying to get Alex calling in here on Facebook Live. Yeah, I could see him there, but we're trying to trying to get him connected. And um, I am not being successful at this, so I really appreciate your um, your patience this morning as I try to do this. Um, somebody is, okay, so he says he's a viewer. If anybody knows how to help us out here, Alex Harvey is the guy, one of the guys that is talking on the on the feed right now, and he uh, is trying to join our conversation here on the on the live. I be I believe it's supposed to, you're supposed to jo join it from a phone. Okay, he thinks he's got it. Oh, I hope so. All I got to do is I'm just waiting for your name to pop up green on my other screen where I'm videotaping, Alex, and then I can bring you in. Um, Thank God for trial and error, huh? <laughs> Thank you for your patience, everyone. Uh, welcome to you, all of you Facebook viewers right now. Um, really appreciate you all being here. Uh, this morning, Alex Harvey from Illuminate Design is going to be coming on with me on the Facebook Live once once we figure out how that's done. I don't know if he has to, Alex, I think you may have to make active um, being able to join another Facebook Live maybe on your device. It has to be on a device sideways, either an iPad, iPhone, or Android. Um, I think Alex is, Alex is, let me just give you a little bit of background. Alex is from, I believe he is from, his company, uh, Illuminate Design, is from, he's a CEO and founder, um, and he is a specialist in UX and brand messaging. He uh, went to, bachelor, he has a bachelor in science and business management from, Gert College of Business in Florida and the Gulf Coast University. I'm still waiting for his name to come up green here. Go green, Alex. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's uh, we're having difficulty with this, but um, again, it's it's new. Um, and so I, I thank you for your patience for those of you listening. In the meantime, um, you guys can be thinking about how you might want to. Um, interact with the conversation uh, if you know what uh, cultivating deep client relationships is. I, I imagine it's some type of uh, different way of creating um, clientele and sales uh, in this more technological age, which is something I spoke with um, someone about here on the show a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> so I'm hoping it, it, it's going to speak to that. So Alex is also, let's see, I'm on his website. I'm going to see if I can find more about him. Of course, there's a video I can't watch. But they apparently they do some type of uh, branding consulting websites. And uh, what's interesting is he says it's rooted in behavioral science, cognitive psychology, and values. Now, that's a really interesting uh, concept to me uh, because that's really how it is when you're doing face-to-face -face business with people. That's typically how it is. Um, but, you know, in a technological age, I'm sure we have to do things a little bit different to make that connection. And I think that there's been a lot of people asking that question. Uh, a few weeks back, uh, a couple weeks back, I had a gentleman here. I'm trying to see if I can find his name over here. Um, Doug Martin from Martin Sills was here, and we were talking about that. Um, <coughs> I still can't see him, so I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so uh, he says he's in as a viewer. Um, <coughs> I 
I'm going to I'm going to try to give him some advice here. In the meantime, I appreciate all you waiting on the live live feed. Maybe it'll give some time. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I see you there, Diane and Lori and um, David. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, hey, say a prayer for us to to get on here. Uh, this is our first trying to connect somebody face to face here. Um, trying to help him over over this uh, over the computer here. I'm going to have him try to go out and re-enter and see if that helps. <coughs> see if that helps him. If not, I don't know, you'll be, you'll be stuck talking to me this morning, <laughs> which, is, which is okay, I guess, but uh, I really would like to bring Alex on. Uh, I can't, um, okay, I ha he's, he's going to try to go out and come back in again. Um, I'm waiting for him to come on the Facebook Live face-to-face. -face. We're going to be talking to Alex Harvey this morning from Illuminate Design. Uh, he's, he's doing his best on his end to, to, to research how to get on. I'm not sure what kind of device he is using. Uh, Alex, I believe you have to use some kind of an Android or iOS device, and you have to turn it sideways uh, in order to do a face, uh, a, for the screen to split on here for us. So, um, my husband's trying to something here. This is where I would wish I wish my husband was here. My Superman. Everybody knows Superman. Say hi to Superman. He's on the feed, everybody. <laughs> I'm still looking for Alex. I can see I can see a couple people on here. Um, but I don't see Alex. Oh, here we go. I think I see him. There he is. Yay. I'm very excited about that. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for everybody tuning in on Facebook Live this morning. Hi, it's, it's, um, um, kind of exciting. Kind of exciting. There, there he is, is Alex. Alex. How, how you doing? doing? Oh, my. Good. Oh, no, oh, no I, can't I can't hear you. Okay. Uh-oh. Do you have a microphone, microphone or something, or something you, can you can plug in, in there, Alex? Alex? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, just plug in some kind of, um, maybe, maybe it's some earbuds, a headset. Try that out, okay? Yeah. No problem at all. This is this is uh, this is the way things are in the, in the new technological age, and and you know what? That's okay because this is the real world. You know, in the real hello, world, hello. we are having conversations and we're talking to people, and it's not a problem. Can you so hear me? Try now? to talk, Alex. Oh, I still can't hear him. No. Not quite sure why. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. Okay. One moment. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> Um, oh, hello, hello. Keep talking, Alex. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm putting my volume up and everything. Okay. <laughs> now you're sideways. <laughs> All right. So I don't really know. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Can you hear me now? Let's see. Not hello, quite hello. Sure how to, how to fix that? He's trying to talk. Maybe we should have given this hello, a test hello. run before. Okay, they, can you hear me? it sounds like they can hear you, but there's an echo. Let me see if there's... Hello, hello. <laughs> Is, uh, tell me if the echo has gone, Dave. Can you, is, is he sounding okay now? Alex, sing us a song. Yes, right. Well, <laughs> The I've problem is, <laughs> is everybody can hear you, but I cannot. So I'm, oh, yes. that's going to make it difficult. I'm going to have Dave translate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dave's, my, uh, Dave, Dave's my husband on the feed there, Alex. Um, awesome. I can't, I can't hear you at this, at this <laughs> gen, uh, where I am right now. Let me see if I can plug another thing in over here and get this going. <laughs> Hold on. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry about this, everybody. <laughs> so tricky. Um, hmm. Hopefully we can. Uh, Boy, this is where it would be great to, to have a techie person. All right, I got to tell you, this, yeah. is, this is interesting to me. Now, <laughs> let's see. It is 919. <laughs> We've used up almost all our time on the technology aspect of this. Um, the only way I could probably do this is to unplug and plug Alex in. So, Alex, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pl yeah. unplug you from the whole Okay. Sound thing, but I'm not sure if anybody's going to hear you from there. That's the problem. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how to do this. Um, um, I've changed my settings. Let me just do this well, more time. 
Can you hear me? It's unfortunate. The only, the only other, other option, option would be, would be uh, uh, if you could. Can you hear me? I can't, I can't Skype in this morning because I don't have my phone. phone. Can you hear me now? This is unfortunate. <laughs> can you hear me now? Um, no. I don't know if, if the audience can hear you, but I can't, so I don't know what you would be saying back to me. If, if, if everybody can hear you, uh, all I can do is ask questions, and when you stop talking, <laughs> I don't know how to interject. Um, yeah. uh, maybe the, the Facebook Live group can help us out here. Um, all right, Alex, why don't you just start by telling us a little bit about yourself. I tried to tell people where you were from, and I'm just going to let you do that. I know that the, the Facebook Live people can hear you. Uh, unfortunately, people on the radio may not be able to hear you, but I'm going to let you talk. Okay. Um, maybe we could uh, just get someone to verify that everything's sounding all right. Um, I'll put that in here um, real quick <laughs> as we're making this work. Let's just get verification. The audio will work. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna interpret everything he said by his lips. <laughs> I have no clue uh, what he said. I know he introduced himself. No. Uh, but Alex, <laughs> you said that you were from Illuminate Design in Florida, um, and that you want to talk about cultivating deep client relationships and value engineering. Yes. Why don't you, for the audience, tell them, what, you know, when you're talking about deep cultivating relationships, and you can nod for me, um, <laughs> are you talking about relationship sales in a sense, it, some kind of a relationship marketing and sales? Um, yes, but, okay, David said he can hear both of us. Um, I really think it's gonna, going to be necessary for you to hear me so we can interact, though. Um, we may need to start it over or something like that. I mean, um, can you hear me now, Alex? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I actually can hear you because I unplugged you from the main, the main okay. computer. So, uh, but that's okay. Um, can, all right. Yeah, I think it's going to be necessary. We can interact with each other <laughs> yeah. by hearing this each is, other. This has been a very weird, very oh, weird that's experience right. for me. Well, uh, not, not first... your fault. Um, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's that really our first face-to-face -face yeah. here on Facebook Live. So uh, <laughs> welcome, Alex. Thank you so much. I appreciate your patience here. And those, those tuned in, thank you so much for the Facebook Live. If you have questions for Alex along the way, feel free to make comments. We can see you this morning. Uh, so you're from Illuminate Design. You're yes. talking about cultivating <laughs> deep relationships. And the question I asked you, and I'm sure you already said this, now does this have to do with um, just the way you do business now? Yes, it does. So cultivating, I'll get situated here, cultivating deep relationships. Really what I mean by that is to have, is to have a fantastic foundation rooted in who you are, to be able to start um, really, um, you know, just treating people well and using your empathy, using empathic listening, um, as a, as a very, I love very what powerful you're saying. skill. I love what you're saying. Could you, could you expand a little bit on when, you know, a lot of people, this terminology is for some of us is, is, you know, especially business people. Mm. Uh, if, if you have a business and you're not in media, you need to be in media. And, and right. a lot of this, a lot of this language is part of some of us who follow this, mm. you know, what, you know, using your empathy and being rooted in who you are and things like that is, mm -hmm. is an interesting thing. And people understand what empathy is, but, uh, why don't you explain it the way you mean it? Yeah, sure. Great question. So empathy in my mind is, is really um, being able to not only feel but understand what a person who you're communicating with or even just um, thinking about um, to be able to, you know, understand where they're coming from on, a, on that deeper level. Um, if they... If they're go ultimately going through something, you have to be able to understand them in any facet to be successful in any industry. I think that's really interesting. Um, you know, right. we're we're in we're in the industry of marketing and websites, digital experiences, and 
it really doesn't work. It's amazing to me. This kind of leads into this big topic of how many times I've seen, you know, a website that has what is called a wall of text or, you know, just yeah. an unending focus on themselves instead of the customers. Okay. So this so is are a... you are you telling me, Alex, that we, we have a lot of narcissistic people because um <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's been that's been my findings. Mm. It's it, and so I guess when you're talking about empathy, you're you're really you're really hitting a soft spot for me that I, I believe is very, very important is it's mm. not all about us. We have to think about the experience of whoever who's coming to our website. It's like the, we have to think about them coming to our home. How do we yeah. invite somebody in? How are you doing? Uh, and, and really make that connection, right? Absolutely. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Um, okay. I, yeah, I just want to stress the importance of this. Um, and we'll, you know, we can dig into multiple facets of this, but I, I, I want to stress the importance okay. of this for really any industry at all. Um, you know, we do B2B, we do business to business work. Um, but if you are, you know, a person selling your handmade goods, like my wife has been doing for a little while and, mm -hmm. or someone, you know, interested in, um, you know, selling anything that you could possibly make or, you know, doing business consulting or, you know, any, any facet. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and this also is applicable to the smallest of companies, solopreneur to the largest mm -hmm. of corporations. Um, you know, this reminds me of one of the things I learned a few years ago about how Apple started their advertising. Okay. And it was a really interesting case study of how basically their, one of their first ads was this, I think it was a 12 page document within the New York times, or maybe it was eight pages or something like this. And this wall of text was basically listing out all of these features and advantages but mainly features of what they offered with their computer. The difficulty in understanding all of this message is what ultimately led to its very um, underwhelming success. So this advertisement was very, very technical and one of their only customers, as I've heard it said, uh, one of their only customers from this advertisement was and of course it was a very expensive one, you know, in, in the New York times. Um, one of their only customers was NASA because they were so <laughs> in the technical realm and able to understand. So the, the, the crux of this story is basically that if you overwhelm people with your message, you right. are not going to be able to communicate with them. Ultimately what value you you can provide them and fundamentally from what value you provide them what benefit they will get and how you will improve their lives so okay, that's so, yeah so what i'm hearing is you're, you're telling us that the really the best way is less is more instead of tmi mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely i mean because it, it can be very uh, overwhelming for someone who's just coming in to simply you know think about i like the analogy of somebody coming into your house someone comes in your house mm. you welcome and sit down you don't just say Hey, you want some fries, a drink? Hey, come on, sit over here. Hey, you want to go jump on the bed? I mean, you're, you're not right. going to say, you know, like, it's like, you know, it's very overwhelming. And right. you got to think about your websites like that, welcoming somebody in, you know, you kind of want things in an orderly way. You want to, you know, one thing at a time. Yeah. And you want to, and you want to lead them, right? You want to lead oh, them yeah. somewhere. You have to guide them. Yeah. You, so one of the things that we, we studied a lot is um, something that the the master of this topic um, has taught us a lot is Donald Miller in, in StoryBrand. So, you said Don Donald Miller? Yes, yes. So this is a, a freebie we'll, we'll give to all your listeners just because it is uh, a great resource. <laughs> and you said he's from StoryFriend? Um, sorry, StoryBrand. StoryBrand.com. Story okay. Yes, okay. he's uh, basically... Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's a fundamental aspect of how we have learned to view communication through any medium. And one of the things that they say is if you confuse, you will lose. And so this isn't the only aspect of what of, that has taught us or, and how we approach the communication um, that we guide and everything, but 
it's a it's a absolutely a large and very important um, teacher for us. So right. Um, yes. Yeah, so basically, if you confuse, you'll lose. Um, another thing that's mentioned, it, it would be great um, in the future if we could, you know, show some uh, examples of a website or something while we're looking at this. But that's all right. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. I, I actually. Um... You know, that's interesting you say that. I have yeah. I have your website up. If you tell me what page is going, I could I could lift up this okay this thing over there. So tell me where do you'd like me to go? Awesome. On 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 the websites or sure, sure. Um portfolio? Yeah, you can go to portfolio. Um and, and which website would you like me to show them? Sure. Let's uh I'm on there now too. So let me just go to portfolio. So this is this is live technology. We're we're doing the best that we can. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> which means I'm bringing a. I actually have you mic'd now on this, so that I can mm. do this. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Let's thank you see. for your patience. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's this is just, your website. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay. So we could we could just um, start with Greencastle right at the top there. Um, you can click that image and it'll bring you to the website. So. Yeah, am I too close? Uh, that's, yeah, that's better. That's better. That's good? Yeah. So a better home for a better you is, is uh, the, the top message there. So basically, instead of saying, this is, a, all right, so in the hero message, this is uh, typically referred to as a hero message or, uh, you, you know, a unique value proposition. A better home for a better you just basically puts it into the shoes of the customer. We don't want to have to communicate to somebody that, you know, you have, um, <laughs> you, you have all this work to do or, or anything like that. Um, it's fundamentally important to put it in the perspective of the customer to tell them what exactly it's about them. Be getting for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. So basically, and then under that, you have monthly electric bills from $0 starting um, hurricane peace of mind and quality service. So essentially, you have the ability to quickly discern what information you need to get and receive the benefits and how it will start to impact you. Okay, and this is where I'd like to get the the Facebook audience to interject. If they have a, a business, if you yeah. have a business and you're in the Facebook audience and you have a question for Alex on maybe the type, how you might mm -hmm. um, present your business, uh, you know, we would love for you to to interact here. I'm going to go back on there and see who's who's on there. Um, I see a couple <laughs> people on there with business. Um, <clears throat> Absolutely. Anyways, yeah, that would be a yeah, great. You, a yeah, great you can make comments. Yeah, anybody can make comments uh, right now if you have a, a certain type of business or you're thinking of doing a certain type of business. Um, you know, I'm sure Alex has worked with different types, and he can give you some suggestions on that. Um, definitely make comments. Uh, we don't have the call in today. Um, <laughs> I was so great. I left this morning without my phone. <laughs> wow. That's all right. It's been a, it's been a great morning, but you know what? Here's <laughs> the thing. This is this is real life, right? Yeah. We just keep keep moving forward and and do the best that we can and it happens to everybody. Uh so we we like to be real. Um <laughs> All right, Alex. So, um yeah, let's looking looking at this one. Yes. For now when you you told me originally when you're Cultivating a deep client relationship, mm -hmm. value engineering, but you said something else before. The three mm -hmm. things uh, rooted in empathy, yeah. marketing, or what are the three things you said? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Behavioral science, um, value, and cognitive psychology. Um, yeah, mainly, mainly value and, and behavioral science, psychology. Um, they all go together um, for us. So the reason for rooting ourselves in that is so that we can do ultimately dig into projects and that was on a topic that we were starting to talk about where we see so many customers of ours who have dealt with web companies and different agencies before and you know freelancers and everything and they just get so so tired of 
having their of not being understood essentially there people just want to come in there very quickly um figure out their you know quickest way to get past the buck and you know get the job done in the the just most superficial way possible essentially so and, and what we want to do is be more thoughtful yeah about how we do it absolutely and i think that's that's what you're talking about it's like okay where when you're when you sit down with a client and you're trying to find out what they're trying to accomplish, it's like you know, obviously you kind of have to be somewhat of like a coach, um, and you have to you know because that's that's what yeah. I do, and yeah. it's, it's asking the question to get to the root of mm -hmm. what's your goal here, what are you trying to accomplish, mm -hmm. and and then from your expertise being able to give suggestions on the best way to reach that. Yes. Um, I've, I've heard it said from a professor actually that it takes five, five questions or five whys to get to the root of the matter, to get to the real reason that people are doing something. So oftentimes it's, uh, you know, you ask somebody, so, you know, what kind of business do you do? Or why are you in that business? And they'll give a reply that is something Alex, like, I'm excited. Why don't we play this? Why don't you do yeah. this? Why, why don't I be your client? Okay, let's do it. And you go through it. I'm <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. No, no, yeah. Should I go to your In It Together website? Oh, please don't. We're building a new one. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. no, okay. Which no, one? go ahead. Inittogether.net is, is what we have right now, but In It Together Media is being built right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> or where? what were you thinking before? Well, no, just go through the process okay. with me. If okay. I say I'm a new client and how you sure. would go through that process of asking questions. All right, let's do it. <laughs> That'll be great. All right. In it together. Um, dot media. Net. That, dot net. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. For now. Okay. Great. Okay. In it. And as you can see, it's a, it's just a page on a multi, on a multi site, and it's very wanting and so last year or so, so last three or four years ago. <laughs> sure. Man, websites have to be so. Um, I guess it, you just got to keep up on them and keep modernizing them. It's kind of like right. your home. I mean, you're always, you're always making things nicer and, you know, people come in, you're updating, you got to make sure you paint the edges. And <laughs> Right. So actually as of now, if I go to in it together.net, it is uh, blank. What? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh no. I bet you the guy that's working on it, uh, you know, he would have it down. So, in it together.net is blank. Yeah, Try Lori see. Lynn Green. Okay, go to laurielindgreen.com. Okay. And then click on In It Together Radio Show. That's because it's a page on there. Okay, okay. Everybody watching is probably going on there now. <laughs> you, can, you can see me with my reading glasses. Okay, yeah. So, this, yeah. so okay. really, it's just a page on mm -hmm. uh, my bigger website. Right, right. <laughs> so I have a multi-site, but I have to separate them. Sure. As we move forward, so. Ooh, I see storm chasing. That sounds very exciting too. <laughs> it is. It, it was very exciting. He's he's not with us right now, but hopefully he'll come back. Gotcha. Uh, sometime in the future. So I see a drop down um, page with In It Together Radio Show. Um, yeah, it has all the different segments, archives. Should I click on any one of those in particular, or? Um, the or Good Life's the one home? that I do on Mondays. Okay. Okay. Or we may just want to start at the very beginning. Um, Okay. Yeah, this is, in, let's go to the homepage. Let's just go to the laurielandgreen.com and I'll just give okay. you a little bit of feedback. Okay. All right, cool. Awesome. All right. So I'll just flip my screen. Okay. So yes, um, advocate of life, voice of hope, visionary. Awesome. Um, I love the adjectives. I love advocate of life. Um, one of the, this brings me to one of the, uh, slogans that we've been working on for our own company is uh, related to, in my mind, um, which is to elicit maximum human potential, basically, to Absolutely. draw, to draw it out. And mm -hmm. actually, on a, just on that quick note, Illuminate was born out of that idea. So basically, if you look at our logo on our website, it is three diamonds going you mm -hmm. know, to the right and starting basically from the darker to proceeding to lighter and lighter. And right. the meaning of that is essentially just a visual you know, abstraction of, uh, yeah, bringing light and awareness and betterment to 
all all parts of a, of a person and business and you know that even i won't belabor the point right at this moment but essentially that's really what makes this work so meaningful for us is to be able to talk with people and have the incredible opportunity to have them at at an inflection point in their lives where we can say where they're willing to change something within their own business which a lot of people it takes a lot of time to get to that point and ultimately have an incredible opportunity to start being a real guide with them walking alongside them and learning what they do to ultimately have the most uh, transformative business uh, growth and experience for them so anyways let's look at your website so advocate of life voice of hope visionary okay so essentially this is um this is intriguing um but i definitely see room for improvement i'll just give some some uh feedback on that so basically okay. so i'll let me let me ask i can you take it i'm a big girl yeah yeah it's okay no everybody <laughs> i mean our current website has uh, actually been <laughs> Uh, needing an update for quite a while. So we're working on that as well. So you're not the only one. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so basically, let me ask you a question, Lori, um, to bring this point home, I think. So, so Lori, when, if you meet somebody on a, in a conference or on the street or you know, at a cafe or anything like that, um, are you telling them for, what's the first, I mean, is the first thing that you say, hi, I'm Lori Lynn Green, I advoc- I'm an advocate of life, voice of hope, and visionary? Let's see, that's a great question. That's a great <laughs> question because because nobody talks like that. Right. <laughs> so that's... I'd be more like, hey, how you doing? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know. Like, it, oh, it, I like your blouse. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But that's um, not really a good website thing. Hey, I like your blouse. <laughs> sure, sure. So yeah, we have to we have to you know toe the line of basically something that's going to catch somebody's attention, but ultimately communicate something to them that is going to show them within the the, the key is within the first five seconds on a website. Okay. On social media, it's more like two seconds, but on a website, you have about five seconds to really start hooking somebody in and showing them that this is going to be something that they can benefit from and in, in the ways that you are specifically telling them. So um, when I look at this website and I see Advocate of Life, so this is basically positioned in, in the format of how businesses typically are positioned. So it is talking about you and mm-hmm. who you are, understandably, because that's you know this is your personal website right right but it doesn't it doesn't deliver any any information to me as far as what i would benefit on how i would benefit from right working with you right right so as you can see it's a multi-site um Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i actually have two different businesses here. I have in the coaching, I have uh, my Alpha Advancement Strategies company, which is one you could go in. Try that one. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hit the coaching. Coaching. Okay. Yeah. That one needs updating as well, but I think it might give you a better picture of where I'm coming from. Sure. Sure. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. I know it's, it's also difficult when there's multiple things within kind of one place. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Alpha Advancement Strategies. Um, I like the name Alpha. The color of orange is alive and energetic and awake. It's and it's... salmon. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. General orange, but yeah, probably salmon. <laughs> um, okay. So fresh start. Um, uh, I mean, honestly, it, I don't feel like it's really telling me much of anything as far as right away. Like, okay, what are you going to do? Okay. What are you going to do to, to benefit your, your customers? So, a fresh start, you have, okay, um, you know, a blank page, yes, that indicates a fresh start. Um, however, what you could have instead is really just captivating imagery to, along with your key message, that's written in the perspective of your customer first, okay? So okay. When, we, when we look so when at... So when I go, if you go into services and personal, personal coaching, yeah. I don't know if maybe one of those 
maybe personal coaching or one of those other ones, each one of those might be the message mm-hmm. that we're looking for just mm-hmm. in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. No. And, you know, ultimately, this is a part of the process. It's, it's really hard work to get into, mm-hmm. get down to that bottom line of like, fundamentally, <laughs> what are you providing um, more than anything and how to say it in just a few words. It's, it's very hard. It takes time. Takes, yeah, it does. Uh, I, I still, you know, go back and forth on that for our own company. It's a work in progress. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I see personal coaching, personal growth. Um, there's a reason you've stopped by this page. Okay, I love that copy. That's really nice. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's great. It, it... Are we on Dan and Sue? <laughs> I am, <laughs> yeah. Um, personal coaching page. Yeah, so there's a reason you stopped by this page. Maybe you've been reevaluating your life and realized you could use some help moving forward. Maybe you find don't, don't tell me I tell me I did really good with the, the well what would normally be white space. I try not to mm. try to leave a space. Is that good? Yeah, um, you know, you do need to leave white space. And it's also good that you've broken this these messages up within a uh, few different lines. Right. Dan and okay. Sue. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You no, like my house. That's good. You got to think. Dan um, Sue. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I think that's a really, a really nice, captivating way to introduce the message in a relatable way. Yeah. Um, now, also, I would say if we look at the very top of the page, um, a lot of times people really want to show off their new logo or something, and unfortunately, it is not the most important part of the first view of the website, right? And people Yeah, oftentimes I think that has know, more to do with the template. I, yeah. I think this is more like the template that I had and that's sure. how they've got it. And again, it's a old, it's an old template. I think it's actually it's discontinued and sure. <laughs> so yeah. it's So yeah, and we, you know, we don't need to to hack away too much, but basically um you know, I, on the top level view, I would say that a several of these pages and several of these websites, um, you know, they have, I think your personal touch in them just from, and I, I really haven't spent much time on them yet, but I can see your own storytelling ability in here. And that's really cool. I can see you're welcome. Um, I can see, you know, you have happy customers and, all these different stories and strategies and, you know, services in one place. And that's really cool. Um, And, you know, ultimately we're, I think let's zoom out for a second and we'll we'll just talk about how, where we are within, um, within the market at this time. And, you know, what I mean by that is essentially that people's attention is just drawn by so many things over the day that it's attention span huh yeah yeah the int- the attention game is it's a difficult one but yes <laughs> but we definitely have the ability to to make an impact as long as we as long as we really are true with our message and support it with great work ethic with a great with a great um value essentially, um, that comes back to the value engineering and cultivating those deep relationships. Um, so in a sense, you know, your website, again, um, yeah. what came to mind when we first started talking was it's, it's got to be really welcoming. Mm-hmm. It, it's got to, it's got to really draw people in, you know, mm-hmm. that relation, you got to be able to relate to people. So in, in a sense, you have to make it personal, but there's, pro- there's a line before you make it too personal, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I think it can be conversational and you can talk in the, you know, depending on the business, you can go more impersonal and more, or, or more, not impersonal, but less professional, more personal. Um, but absolutely, it's, it has to fit the brand. It has to fit the industry and the niche. But uh, yeah, you, you, I mean, I had a, I'll, I'll just share a quick story as far as a, a current client. Um, okay. So basically they're, they're, they're in the home healthcare industry and they have, 
information that communicates very typically so far. We're working on their, their messaging and their, their website and marketing and so on. And they have information that is so typical. Um, and it started to dawn on me that basically having an image of the caretaker nurse type with the, you know, the, the kind of scrub uh, uniform and next to the elderly person who's receiving care. I mean, that visually communicates what you would expect to see, but there's so much more room for opportunity and growth there. Um, so basically we started talking about how looking at a comparison to also illustrate that point. So like if you would imagine <laughs> um, on Ritz Carlton's website or in their marketing materials, if they always had a server or hospitality specialist of some sort within all of their photos, how ridiculous would that look? I mean, right. they, they really just show the space, the setting, the environment, the luxury experiences, all of these things that you can envision yourself in to start benefiting from and, you know, getting that getting that picture of, oh, yeah, I, I, could, I could definitely see myself here, you know, let's do it. Um, so, but putting, <laughs> putting the, the professional, you know, there, they, you know, people know there are going to be servers, people know there are going to be um, caretakers in a home health care agency. Um, so this goes back to this main point of how we talk about ourselves way too much. We talk about how, you know, how long we've been in business and how we do things just in such a way that it ends up coming off, even if we're not, not necessarily narcissistic as some other people are, which happens, it just comes off as boring. It comes off as, okay, wait a second, like how long am I going to have to pay attention to this to get the message? Um, which well, how important is the writing? I mean, it, it, extremely. The content is, is got to be very, very good. You know, mm -hmm. Absolutely. So one of the things that uh, StoryBrand and Donald Miller talks about is um, the power of words. And it is extremely important um, as much as, you know, let's just dissect, you know, this, this, you know, first website that we, we've put up um, that is again going to be changing soon. But, you know, we have just a kind of an interesting, um, a nice looking image, but it's not, you know, we weren't able, we weren't wanting to communicate in the imagery itself up here that there were, you know, with a website or, you know, anything particularly, you know, uh, technical or anything like that. So we just went with a nice uh, landscape kind of an image. So that's one thing, you know, it's basically, it's just a nice backdrop. It's not taking away from the, from the attention to be able to really read the message and look at everything. So, attract even better customers was the kind of the last where I ended on the message itself. So basically because of putting out, because of doing all these other things that we help you do, you'll end up getting more business and, and better customers. Um, so resonate with your customers, transform your brand, grow your business. So, um, I'm thinking to myself, how important is the, is the creativity? Uh, there are some mm -hmm. websites you go to and you just, oh, as sure. soon as you walk in, it, it's kind of like, again, you know, you invite <laughs> somebody to your house, you invite them in and you start joking with them and you say, Hey, how's it mm. going? And you, you know, uh, make them laugh. I mean, how, how do you know when those times are? Does it depend on the business or whatever? I mean, I just, I like to make people feel comfortable mm -hmm. I like that. You know, we're down to earth. We're real. Sure. Um, and then you have the, the, the difference between using an image or some kind of video. Mm -hmm. How do you know when to do that? Yeah, great question. Um, I find that very interesting. So I would say um, a few things on that. Uh, videos are becoming more and more popular. We need to be doing much more of them. I think you're doing a great job with your, your adoption of podcasting and video and radio and you're just it's uh, necessary it was necessary I yeah mean, I, I didn't want to but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I mean we're, we're still getting there ourselves <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah as far as when to use what type of uh, communication elements you know you have your your images your text your videos audio potentially 
Um, and on a website, you need to have good imagery. I tell you, we've, over the last several years of working in this industry, we've seen just more and more how important it is to get the right images in place to communicate the feeling and the benefit you provide. Um, so don't skimp on the imagery. Absolutely. I want, I want it's a worthy actually, investment. While you're saying that, I actually, for another freebie for the, uh, for the yeah. audience is uh, getting some free stock images from Pexels. Do you know of mm -hmm. another place? I do. I do indeed. Yeah. Um, so Unsplash has been a fantastic uh, resource. Um, the, they're less useful for some people-oriented imagery, but they're fantastic for, uh, depending on the usage, a more professional is, is mm -hmm. less there, but many creative kind of uh, portrait shots are there. Then there's okay. also, um, yeah, there's, I mean, Adobe Stock, there's uh, Pexels, there's Pixabay, there's Unsplash, there's uh, several options out there nowadays. Um, some of the some of the best ones are on Unsplash and Pexels, I would say. Okay. Yeah, I usually use Pexels a lot. Nice. Um, I have another question, though. As we were talking sure. about videos and images, uh, you know, you can mm -hmm. not only get images, but you can also get videos at these, some of these. Some of them are free. Some of them you pay a little bit of money for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was told in, that I should be, uh, with the new website that's being built for In It Together Media. Sure where we're going to have, you know, live streaming capabilities. We're going to have the audio. We're going to have cool. you know, the podcast, the TV shows, mm. all those things going through there. Mm. Um, I was told I need a really good welcome video. Mm. So I wish I had my phone because I could kind of read it to you. I was kind of writing it yesterday. Awesome. Um, what, what that might look like. And so maybe you can give me a critique of this. I was just going to say, mm -hmm. uh, Hi, my name is Lori Lynn Green. I'm the CEO of In It Together Media. I just really want to welcome you to the website. Appreciate you stopping by and mm -hmm. just want to tell you um, what we've been doing to help people uh, connect. We want to partner with you and we've been helping people, organizations, businesses, and nonprofits um, in their outreach efforts uh, to be able to reach a broader audience. And, and we do this in a few different ways. We do this by uh, helping them advertise, audio advertising. Uh -huh. We do this by helping them uh, come on start their own podcast, a regular segment where they can get known that way. Or we help them with their media uh, in, um, uh -huh. you know, amping up their social media and giving them greater reach and things like that. Uh -huh. um, so that's kind of what I was looking at. And then, of course, we have a green screen. So in the back, we would probably put pictures of, whatever we've been doing or maybe mm -hmm. you know. um so it's sure. just a brainstorm thing right yeah kind of storyboarding right yeah absolutely no um the first reaction is it sounds good um now i think it's i think the strong suits of it are that it's it would be you welcoming somebody like you're saying it'd be friendly it would be mm -hmm. uh personable and you know very uh, at least well, different than that. I don't have it in front of me. Oh, so. no, no, no. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I think one thing, a few things to keep in mind for anybody doing a welcome video of any sort or even videos in general um, are to know, know the duration um, ahead of time that you're going for. Uh, mm -hmm. You, you definitely, I mean, I, I know you have experience in a lot of this too, but um, yeah, just just plan that out, and you know, if you if it's going to be more than sixty seconds, I would say trim it down um, for that welcome video. Okay, so um, you think a welcome video should be a minute? Because I was talking to someone, and they're like, you know, we we want to, you know, three minutes or whatever. I'm thinking, I actually don't know. If, I think that's kind of long. Three minutes would would be a little long. I would say the top end of that would be around ninety seconds. Um, yeah. But but it's okay yeah. to like like for a welcome video, mm -hmm. you know, have that be short, right? Sixty minutes, sixty seconds to ninety seconds. Yeah. But then you can have another video later Absolutely. to get further into what it is we really do, right? Yes. So this goes back to the whole the whole methodology of what we do. You really throughout any form of your communication on your website and your podcasting and anything that you're you're saying about what you're doing. The key is to not overwhelm, number one, and then offer options for action. 
um, and is, I mean, these, there are more elements to this that will be very helpful, but essentially don't overwhelm people with how much you're seeing at one time. Make it digestible. Uh, you can also use mm -hmm. these tactics like um, not talking about the same topic for too long. We all struggle with this, um, which is uh, Donald Miller calls the uh, curse of knowledge. Talk too much about what we know. Um, and then also just, yeah, also just, um, um, what was I going to say? Uh, keeping, you know, keeping the message concise, clear, writing it out ahead of time is, is very useful and helpful. So. How helpful is, is like storyboarding where you're like, what yeah. am I trying to do? What mm -hmm. are the points that I want to, you know, it, it's not, a welcome video is not trying to get to tell everybody everything. It's just to get them Correct. to look sure. Yeah, it, it's to wet their palate to want to, to learn more. Yeah. Okay, and that's and that's why it's really important to know what we're trying to do when we're doing something. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that yeah. that sets boundaries around everything and constraints. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, in any, I would say overall, look at your video strategy and your content strategy within your website or other places as fitting into, you know, here's this stage of where you are within the journey to get from mm -hmm. starting out to, you know, ha receiving the benefits and, you know, receiving the success. Um, and just knowing it's really important to guide people and to help them feel like they have a, a really defined process that you're guiding them through. Um, they're the hero of the journey, as StoryBrand says. You are not as the professional or the business. The customer is the hero of the journey. And furthermore... This makes, this makes, I'm sorry. Yeah, this yeah, makes me ahead. think about when, like, if you're going to go to the mall, mm -hmm. okay, you go to the mall and they always have this, this uh, map that tells you where everything, where mm. everything is. And mm -hmm. it always tells you you are here. Yes. So what you're trying to say is you always want people to know where they are Mm -hmm. in your website and where they're going. Absolutely. I think it's been incredibly fragmented the way that we've designed, you know, all our, all, all our, um, very old... random. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just very hierarchical. Like this, even in my, you know, strange mind <laughs> goes to how we're just so, we're just so, you know, X and Y coordinate kind of based still um, in, in still thinking in a box a lot of times about our experiences with our website and with our different platforms. Um, you know, when I, w I talk to people and about little things sometimes and um, <laughs> basically they'll say like, oh, I organize my, my favorites in my contact list um, with number one being the most important. I say, but why when you have, your resting position of your hand being closest to, you know, number four or five or six on that list. Um, so I actually put the most important people or the, the, the things that I access the most, my apps on my phone, mm -hmm. the closest to where my thumb would naturally land um, because it, and instead of putting it right at the very top of the screen. That's, I mean, a, that's an interesting thought there that I didn't think about. Mm -hmm. But e even when they're coming into the website, I just I just kind of thought of this line is that people don't remember how much you know, they remember how you made them feel. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're yes. trying to create an experience for them when they when they come on. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is where, for me, I understand this you know, even in what I'm doing, it's about how, how is, how is, how are people feeling about this? You, you know, welcome mm -hmm. to those who, you know, that are just joining us on the Facebook live. We love you being here. We appreciate you being here. And if you have any comments or questions, um, feel free. We would love to hear that. But mm -hmm. when I'm, when I'm thinking about the, you know, the experience that each person has is, is not just a lot of people like, Oh, who cares if he doesn't like it, go somewhere else. We'll get somebody else, but we don't realize yeah. each and is connected to a lot of people and that one you oh. can have a thousand good reviews and that one person will say something mm -hmm. and that would be the demise of your business yes oh man yeah that's a very interesting topic in today's uh marketplace um but yeah i think you hit the nail on the head it's about the feeling it's about yeah. you know not not so much um beating people over the head with um new information necessarily so yeah, uh -huh. you you want them to, you know, again, like like your home or you're inviting them into your place. You want them to feel welcome. You want mm -hmm. them to feel like you're you're tentative to them, like sure. you're 
thinking about how they're, if they're comfortable, how they're, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if they need something, what would that be? And so that's where your mind has to kind of go. It's like, who would be my ideal client or customer that would be coming on here? What would they be looking for? Um, yes. How can I serve them in the best possible way mm -hmm. coming on? That, I think you hit on another fantastic topic, which is if you don't know who you are actually serving, who your target market is, then you're going to be wasting a lot of time trying right. to devote marketing dollars and, and, and your, your hard-earned, uh, you know, just all your, your precious time um, mm -hmm. in all the different places. So a key facet to what we're doing, too, as far as like a marketing strategy, too, is um, really to start with research. You have to, to research how you fit into your competitor's market and um, how you differentiate yourself from your competitor. And... From there, just knowing how to um, how to communicate what you do in a concise and powerful, believable, trustworthy manner, and then from there, um, just delivering and executing on that. But then also, it's it's essential to start. I think there are so many people starting to you know, wake up to the fact that okay, yeah, twenty first century has been here for a little while now. Uh, technology is here to stay. Um, all these different platforms are allowing millions and millions and millions of people to do incredible things, maximizing their true uh, potential and maximizing their true their ability to reach other people um, like what we're doing right now. And it's essential to start measuring what you're doing within all of these places so that you can then optimize over time. Uh, and the more rapidly and the, the the higher the frequency of iterations that you can do within optimiz within your optimizations, the better off you'll be. And all that means is, you know, when you're measuring your your strategies and tactics, um, if you're able to start changing what you're doing, adopting, trying new things, you know, every every week, that's going to be a lot better than trying to do new things every month. Um, sure. So. Yeah, because you're more consistent, you get into a rhythm. Mm -hmm. Two words that have come out uh, in my mind now, yeah. about, as somebody comes on to my website, when I'm trying, what I'm trying to accomplish is to serve mm -hmm. them and mm -hmm. to lead them. Mm -hmm. Serve them and lead them. Yeah, I love that. Um, now, I would also take it one step further and say, so, mm -hmm. so from serving and leading, um, what is somebody going to end at the end of the day, you know, they've worked with you and your coaching and different, different, um, services you're providing. What, what, what would you feel is their end, uh, their end benefit? Well, obviously there needs to be a call to action where you would probably, uh, pose a question to them. Now, sure. what would you, my thinking would be is if you, if, if you continue doing what you're doing, you're going to continue getting what you're getting. Uh -huh. But if you make, make a change today and take a step in, of faith in this direction, yeah. Yeah. you'll look back two years from now and be glad you did. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, but I, I do want to just uncover what you think would be the okay. end benefit from leading and serving. And I like that a lot. I think you can mm -hmm. use that language and that would really benefit you in, the, in your website, but just curious. I mean, Oh, you're asking me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What, what would be your, your end benefit to your, your customers you're serving from say your coaching um, with serving and leading type of work? I mean, I know the end benefit that many of my clients have already had is to yeah. be able to, uh, really find what it is that they're here to do. Uh, mm. Discover who they are, what mm. the obstacles, what the obstacles that have been in their way, and to where they want to go, and help them start a plan to begin to implement that. Mm. Okay, I love that. Um, find out who you are to be able to achieve your dreams, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Also identifying, also identifying things that hold you back from from mm. that. You know, so it's like, mm -hmm. okay, let me now that we're we're doing this quickly, let me let me yeah. just kind of see if I can sum it up better. 
No, please, yeah. Um, what I would tell someone would be um, come and get a snapshot of where you are in your life so that we can identify areas that are holding you back from reaching your goals. Mm. Cool. And then we'll get a plan of action in place. Okay. Identify areas. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so just on the, uh, a note on that too, the plan of action essential. The more yeah. clear you can make that to people to, sh to show, to help them feel, you know, certain about where they're going in this new territory with you, the better. And that goes for anybody in any type of industry, you know, so, um, I think I want to, where is it? I'm trying to find my good life ad. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Because, I, you know, it's really quick and I could probably throw it in here real quick. Yeah, sure. Can... All right, let's see. So I'm going to have to plug you in for a second so that you could hear it too. Okay, guys, I'm going to play this so that you can hear it. You get it, Alex. Here we go. Okay. Hi, I'm Lori Lynn Green, Advancement Strategist and owner of AlphaAdvancementStrategies.com. I've been very successful at helping people overcome stressful situations to get immediate results in their personal and professional lives. At Alpha Advancement Strategies, we provide a non-judgmental and supportive environment, empowering clients to focus more on reaching their goals. You can find us on the web at alphaadvancementstrategies.com or call us at 603-860-9260. Alpha Advancement Strategies is where you invest in yourself. Hmm. Yeah. Thoughts, Alex. Awesome. Yeah. So I think three things. Number one, it sounds, I love the messages. I love the different, you know, I, I remember hearing in there, it's an, it's a, basically a welcoming environment to, you know, it's a safe place where we're going to help guide you to um, uncover these different elements of what's been in the way and guide you to where you need to go. I think you did a great job of explaining that. One thing that does come to mind as far as how to make it a little bit more, um, I don't know, engaging in a, in a way is just, I would ask questions. I would absolutely ask a question or two in there. To yeah, I agree with you. Stop like, it up. So, so let's think about that. What yeah. I would need to do is think about what my typical client mm -hmm. would be wanting to ask. Yeah. You know, what would their question be and probably try to answer that, right? Yeah. And you can also, I think, work a little bit backwards from the points that the main points that you've stated within there. Um, so basically, I, I don't remember it um, verbatim right now, but um you know something to the effect of um you know we we say for instance we help you uncover you know your uh, or reduce stress for instance so um you could you could re-engineer re you know, reverse engineer oh. that to say you know how stressful has your life been lately or okay. something yeah and this is that's really good okay let me let me show you one more this is oh, another ad, ad here for mark major and um uh, Again, we're using the audios right now, but it's, it's a great example to be yes, able to say, okay, how great. would this translate on the, the website? Okay, so this is Mark Major. Hold on. Can you hear it? No. Nope. All right, I'm going I'm to start it over. Hold on a sec. Okay. Sorry, sorry everybody. I got I to gotta start this over for him. Hold on. Because I forgot to play. All right, uh -huh. here we go. Mark Major knows that great coaches need constant training to be effective. As a certified coach, teacher, and speaker with the John Maxwell team, Mark can help you identify and activate your personal and professional goals. If you seek to do more and be more, look up Mark on the web at johnmaxwellgroup.com slash M-A-R-C major or call 603-674-6818. Mark Major, growing leaders and adding value. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, this is a, it's a great example. Um, I think it's, it falls again. Um, they into the, they're, they're too safe, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're too safe. They, I got you. I love it. Yeah. Good to great. Basically this is good. Um, but one thing that also came to mind on that was um, basically 
one of the things that I've heard recently that was incredibly uh, powerful in my mind as far as retaining my attention was <laughs> stating that it was a YouTube ad actually. And it was, uh, the, the person was talking about how 99% of people watching this are going to listen to it and do nothing. <laughs> so basically, yeah. Uh, you know, you're making me think. I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, it's just like any other, like you, you were talking about, relationship, um, mm. cultivating deep yes. client relationship, okay? And so engineering, this is where we, mm. I mean, in any sale, you still, you got to really find their pain. Yes. And you gotta, and you got to be able to bring that out. So, um, I mean, Absolutely. I'm learning and growing, and <clears> I'm <throat> looking forward to, to mm. bring, bringing my game up, too. Oh, yeah. No, all of us. Uh, and, yeah. you know, I don't want it to sound like it's so critical or anything. It's oh, not. Oh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so at all. I think it's cool. very helpful. We got to awesome. be real, right? It's like, yeah. you got to tell the truth. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, really, I think there should be more communities like yours to really be real and have that positive impact on people and talk about the current goings on of businesses and people and you know, just, it's really cool. So uh, I, I also thank you for what you're doing. That's really, really awesome. Yeah, we are pretty much out of time. I mean, we went over because what I'm going to do sure. is I'm going to be able to, um, I'm going to be able to, to clip or crop and sure. I'm going to be able sure. to edit both of these and, and put them back up because we had the technical difficulties at the beginning. So that's why we were on long today. Sure. Uh, but Alex, it's been a real pleasure having you. Uh, uh -huh. I'd love to have you back sometime. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> Now that we know how to do it right, yes, yes, <laughs> we'll do it again. Um, so, why don't you give some contact information? If in, you know, tell people why they would contact you. I mean, give us your commercial, okay, Alex? Yeah, oh yeah, it's it's a work in progress as well. Um, but essentially, we create data driven, value oriented experiences for transformative business growth. And our company name is Illuminate Design. We do work in websites. We do work in digital experiences of different sorts and physical experiences. We really want our clients to know that they're understood, that they have a guide, they have a partner in delegating their marketing needs. And basically we just work with them to um, really transform where they are and bring them into achieving m many more of their goals and receive the help that is really needed to get to those next levels. So um, our website right now is, is illuminatedesign.co. My phone number is 239-677-0260. And you can feel free to call me and I would be happy to talk with you or send me a message over LinkedIn. Primarily is where I spend more of my social time lately. Um, and we'd love to engage in a conversation of any sort with you and give you some, some information about how to improve your business or um, anything related to that. So um, this presence for sure. Yes. All right, Alex, thank you so much. Why don't you stay on there until I close out? I'm okay. going to now try to close out the poll here. <laughs> um, so this basically con concludes um, today's program with Alex. If you want to join us Monday for the good life, Yours truly, that is me, will be here. That's right, to help you move forward in your life. So make sure you have a blessed weekend. Remember that we are in it together. <laughs> See you later, Alex. Bye, Lori. Thank you very much.